what are the choke points in distribution that you're seeing right now and how are you going to go about fixing them? Yeah, so first I want to say that I think everyone shares a sense of urgency of wanting to get vaccine out as fast as possible. Um, from our perspective at the state, we have allocated all of what has been uh, allocated to us by the federal government out to our partners. It's our local health departments and our hospitals. But who's been working hard at this pandemic for many, many, many months, it's our local health departments and our hospitals. And now some of them are doing great and have got all their vaccine out, but some of them understandably are, are, um, are struggling a bit and we wanna support them um, from the state. Sometimes it's as, as simple as they need help with data entry um, and, and some IT issues. Other times they need help with staffing um, and they need more people to actually deliver the vaccines themselves. Um, so it's a, ra it's a range of, of issues and we're trying to match up whatever the choke point is, if you will, um, to help them speed up their, their ability. And again, some of this was just, look, we're two and a half weeks into this. Um, it was right in the middle of the holidays. I think we also, um, you, you know, learned late in the process about this vaccine. Um, I think for, for a while we, we weren't even sure how this vaccine was going to uh, react to folks who are 75 and up, and now we're prioritizing them, right? So it, it all has happened. Uh, you know, we had vaccine plans, but then we actually learn about the vaccine itself and the specifications of the vaccine, how much we're going to get, and it does take some time to then do the, the work to plan.